Cindy out of here with my artsy endeavors. How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about my creative year and this week's prompt is my favorite go-to's. So I have a pile here but we're going to go through them a little bit at a time so I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way here and we're going to talk about my favorite go-to's. All right, the first one that we're going to talk about is the paint. I love acrylic paint. That's a glue stick. I don't care if it's a really cheap, this just uh, Joanne Craft Essentials, this one's old paint, Deco Art, Dina Wakely, Americana, Lucas, you know, uh, Sennelier, or Reeves. It doesn't matter. I love acrylic paint. I have a blast playing with it. I can do anything I want to with it and this is my very first go-to. Nine times out of ten when you see me doing something I am going to be um, using acrylic paint. Okay so that is my very first favorite go-to. What do I use this acrylic paint in? Well these are my favorite journals. The first one is a Dilutions and this one's a small one. Um, I really enjoy playing in the small Dilution. I like the size of it. I like the paper. Um, I like the fact that I can either paint or draw or watercolor or whatever, glue stuff down. And I always, um, it, it, it works for me. I really like the paper quality that's in the small Dilutions. Now, the other dilutions that I have is I have this square one. This square one's okay. Um, not, you know, it's a dilution. Again, I love the paper. I'm not sure as I would get another square one just the size of it. I really, 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 this is becoming my most favorite is the small one. The other one that I do like and I've done work to, and this is the large dilution. And again, um, uh, this was from a Diane Reevely class, can you tell? And, you know, again, this is a journal that I enjoy. Um, I like the paper. That is the biggest thing, is I like the paper. So you can pretty much do anything to this paper, and I've never had an issue with it. So there's the journals that I am really like. Now the other one, and this is crazy, but it's just the Dollar Composition Notebook. I enjoy working in the composition notebook. This one probably should be um, oiled or whatever, um, wax, but it's not. Um, the composition notebook, the paper's not anywhere near the same as um, the dilution paper, but what I do is I just, I glue two pages together. Um, a lot of times I'll washi the edges. This is an old one that I didn't wash the edges, washi the edges. But um, yeah, I enjoy playing in the composition notebook. I find them very easy. I find them um, convenient as far as size. I like the way they work. I like you know the way they handle. I can throw them in a bag and be ready to go. And again, if I mess it up, I don't have to worry about it. It's a composition notebook. All right, so there's my notebooks. Talked about the paint. Now, what else do I use? These are my, if I had to go anywhere and needed to have something with me, this is what I would want. Of course, a pair of scissors. Bigger scissors are nice when you have bigger pieces. Honestly, I always grab these. I always grab my small ones, either these or my small Tim Holtz, right here. Um, so those are the scissors that I most go to. Sharpies. There's two Sharpies. I like the king size Sharpie for doing borders. I like this Sharpie for doing big dots. This one is the super Sharpie. This is the king size Sharpie. I like these. These are the Pen Plus Gear permanent markers that you get at Walmart for 44 cents um, for two of them. And I don't know if they're phasing these out or not, but I really enjoy the chisel tip because you can do either a border, a line, or dots. So I really like the chisel tip. The white pens that I go to, of course we have a white pen Posca. I also have other that are no name brands from um, right here that's from a Japanese dollar store 
called Daiso out in California. A friend of mine picks these up for me. And this is the Postilla. It's the same as the Posca pen. It's got paint in them. Okay. So I love these, especially for doing dots. And then the Uniball Signo um, in white, which I just love this to do little dots and random doodles, that kind of thing. So these are the pens I like to have. Pencil. This is my favorite. Um, this is from Mayped Helix and it's called Black. Let me see if I can read it. Oh, I can't read it. Black something. It's an HB2 pencil. I love the way this pencil writes. I like the lead of it. I like the fact that when I erase it, it actually erases and doesn't leave a line. Um, again, this is a Mayped Helix and it's an HB2. I love that pencil. Um, Stabilo All. This is for, I have the black. I also have the other colors, but I go to the black the most. And I like the Pentel water brushes. I've tried a lot of other watercolor brushes or just plain water brushes. And they either, the bristles go bad or they leak in my bag or whatever the case may be. I like the Pentel. The Pentel are what I will be having from here on out because to me, it's the best type of a water brush. When it comes to paint brushes, I am not easy on my paint brushes. As you can see, um, I beat them up. I beat them up a lot, but these are my favorite paint brushes. And these are the um, Simply Simmons, and they come from Michaels. Uh, they're like $2.99 a brush. Um, this one I actually took, it was a thick angle brush. Well, I cut the brushes off so they were down further. And this is almost like a little scrubby brush now. So I like that. So don't be afraid, you know, if, if the brush isn't doing exactly what you want it to, don't be afraid to alter it. You know, if you have to, cut off your tips. And that's what I did with this one. And this is one of my most favorite brushes. So that's those. The other thing is sponges, cosmetic sponges. Now, I've had the other ones like from the dollar store. These actually come from a place called Big Lots. Um, it's, it's a sturdier foam. Uh, it's a sturdier sponge. I like these. They have them in different um, shapes. These are round, but they're thicker. I like these. Some of the ones like from the dollar store and stuff, to me, they're too squishy, and I just I like a firmer sponge. Now, I haven't tried it yet, but a friend of mine just sent me one of these. This is one of the makeup sponges. So I'm actually looking forward to trying it because, again, it's, it's a, a firmer sponge, and I think it might be easier to use. So I'm going to try that as well. So there's my scissors, pens, paintbrushes, sponges. These are my two glues that I go to 99.9% .9 of a time as a glue stick and, and Aileen's Tacky Glue. Those are my favorites. They go with me everywhere I go. Um, stencils. I am a stencil. Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm a stencil addict. <laughs> I love stencils. I especially love the 6x6 six six stencils. Um, what you see in here, these are all Stencil Girl stencils. I actually have a basket full of other 6x6 six six stencils. I have all of Gina Aaron's stencils. Um, and then I have tons and tons of Crafters Workshop, um, Mike Deacon, uh, whoever stencils, I just, I enjoy stencils. I love to use them. I use them all the time. Um, again, the 6x6 six six is my favorite size. And the reason it's my favorite size is because, A, it's small, it's compact, I can throw some in my bag, and they're all good. All right, two more things to show you that are my favorites. When it comes to modeling paste and putting in texture, I love these Viva modeling creams. This one is called Faro. Honestly, I don't know what the difference is between the Faro and the modeling cream because they both, so this one's, they're, it's basically just a colored modeling cream. It's a, a colored modeling cream that you can add, it adds texture to your projects. I absolutely love these. I like to use them with my stencils. Um, these are one of my most favorite things to go to. The last thing are, well, no, there's two more, sorry. 
Um, one of the last things is pens. Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm a penaholic. Okay, I've got this. This is just what happens to sit on my desk. I have other pens around my studio that I use. Um, these, I love, love, love the gel pens. Um, these are the jelly rolls. Okay, they are phenomenal, especially when you want to add a pop of color. Some of these are like dollar store ones that I use. Um, this is another pen I enjoy using, which is basically a whiteout. That works well. Um, here's my pens. This is what I use. Okay, some of these are paint pens. These are called the graphics. Um, actually, no, this one's Studio Series. Where's my graphics? Right here. This is a graphics, and basically what it is is a paint pen. Um, kind of on the line of a Uniball Signo, only in a very fine, very fine line. So I love these paint pens. All right. My last thing today, again, this is just what sits on my desk. Um, I have a couple cabinets on the other side that have more in it. Washi. Okay, again, my name is Cindy. I'm a washi addict. I love using washi. I'll use it on a background, I'll use it on a foreground, I'll use it as, you know, a border, I'll use it just, just as a design itself. Um, I enjoy using washi. I think it's a great way to add just a little pop, whether it be color, texture, um, or an, an image to any piece of art that you do. I mean, even if you add it on the background and then cover it up with paint, I mean, it's still there, and I really, really, really enjoy using washi. So I probably could sit here all day and go on with more and more and more, but these are my favorites. Um, here's some more paint. This is just a Premio, P-R-E-M-I-O paint that was sitting here on my desk. Um, but yeah, these are my favorites. You know, they're, these are my go-tos. Oh, and I forgot my baby wipes. <laughs> I love my baby wipes. You can blend, you can take stuff off, you can clean your hands. Um, this one is not the brand that's in here, so I'm not even going to show that. But I like the container, so I just buy the no-name, non-alcohol, non-scent brand, stick them in this container, and I love, love, love my baby wipes. All right? So there you go. These are my go-tos. These are my favorites. 90% um, of the time when you see a video, I am going to be using one or more of these products in the video. I hope this has helped you out a little bit. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to help you. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Um, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. I'll talk to you guys next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.